Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Taylor Arndt. I create videos connecting technology to lifestyle. I also create videos to help people get into tech and learn more. Welcome to 2024, everybody. Happy New Year. It is January 1st, 2024. And you know what that means, right? 30 days of Python. Well, what is this 30 days of Python? 30 days of Python is where I teach you how to code with Python in under a month, 30 days. What is Python? Python is a high level language, meaning it is easy to write, it's easy to read, and it is not like one of those languages that are lower level like C where you have to do all the memory collection and garbage collection. No, we don't do that around here. So the interpreter, basically when you talk about interpreted languages, it reads each line of code line by line until it's done with a program. And so a program could run for about 15 seconds and then there's an error at the end and then it could totally crash. So interpreted, you know, there's good and bad about it, but it's a really good way to get started just because you don't have to worry about compiling to an exe and doing all these weird commands and things like that. It's also a great language for beginners. And I know if you guys have New Year's resolutions in 2024 to learn coding, this is a great way to start. And my tutorials are fully accessible. So if you are an assistive technology user like me, don't fret because I've got accessible tutorials. Today, we're going to be talking about how to install Python. And we're doing this on Windows and Mac. Without further ado, let's dive right in. First, I'm going to start with a Mac. Over to Spotlight. Mac first, Spotlight. So I'm going to go to Spotlight. Command space. T E R M I L. -L Term terminal. Enter. New line. And we're at the terminal. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in brew and sell Python. If you have not seen my homebrew video yesterday, you need to check that out. I am so sorry about the accessibility stuff. I reset my Mac yesterday and my screen reader didn't come through. So I deeply apologize. Basically, we're going to do brew and install Python 3. But then you're going to be like, well, Taylor, Python 3 comes with Mac OS Catalina and later. And yes, you're correct. Here's the thing. Python 3.9.6, as of this recording, comes with their Mac. It used to be that Python 2.7 came with every Mac, but 2.7 is now deprecated. And so Python 3.9.6 comes with your Mac. But let's say you want to install the latest version. In this case, you do brew. B -R -E -D -R -E -D -R -E install. I install. E -Y -A -O -N. At. Python at. Three. 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 Period. One, two. One, two. And new go. line. Python has been installed as slash op slash homebrew slash bin slash python 3.12 on versions and major version sim links back quote python back quote back okay. quote they will install into the site package directory slash op slash homebrew slash tailor and the tailor arms laptop so, tilde percent you may you may be thinking why did i install python 3.12 for one thing it's the latest version and i always like to have the latest version on my computer now the reason that they keep python 3.9.6 is actually because of compatibility Later on this course, you'll realize that there are some packages that don't work with the latest versions of Python. And so it's very important that we have an older version on our computer for these packages, maybe like PyTorch and other machine learning packages that may not be compatible. And so by default, if you type in Python 3, it'll bring up Python 3.9.6. That is okay. But if you type in Python 3.12, it'll bring up Python 3.12. And for now, we're going to leave it like this. Eventually, I will show you guys how to change everything with virtual environments. But for our case, I don't care if we run it with Python 3.12 or Python 3.9 because we're going to be doing such basic stuff. But once we get into the more advanced stuff, it will matter in terms of compatibility. So that's just something I want to keep you in mind about. All right, moving on to Windows now. We're going to go ahead and do that. In Windows, we have a couple of different ways. We actually have three methods. One, you can use Wingit, which is Windows Package Manager. Actually, we have four methods. Holy cow. Two, you can use Chocolatey, another Windows Package Manager. Three, you can go to the Windows Store and get it. Four, you can go to the Windows Store. Or wait. I don't even know. I lost count because there's so many different ways to do on Windows. What do I recommend? Well, 
Most people can do the Windows Store version. I will warn you, though, when we get later on, there is going to be a project where you're going to probably need the Python.org. We're going to be using something called Briefcase. Again, don't sweat about it now because we're going to be doing graphical user interfaces. And Briefcase has a problem with the store version of Python. And so you may want to do .org. And actually, that's what I'm going to do just because I do a lot of these GUI applications. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do python.org. And that's a really good way you can install Python as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. Landscape. Button. Landscape. Voice over op. Folder view. I'll go to Edge. All New right. tab. Profile. Sharp high keys. Sharp high P. N. Dot. R. Loading page. Load. Welcome to Python. Dot. F. K. Yeah. Tree view Python visited link. Banner landmark. Link donate. List with one item functions to find head. Main landmark get started heading. Whether you're new to start with our beginner's guide link. Python 3.12.1 link. Lo loading complete. Python release Python 3.1. Banner landmark link donate. Main landmark Python. Release date. Heading level 1. This is the first. Python 3.12 is the newest major. List with 7 items more flexible. F string part. Pep 700. And black square. Support for the buff. Pep 688. Okay. Type annotate. I could also do other link commands and stuff, but I don't have this Windows computer set up that well. List with two. Blacks. New override decorate. Pep 600. Okay. And out of list head. List with six items. Pep 600. And Pep 500. More resources head. Files heading level one. File. Table with column. Column three. Column. 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 Col row two. Operating system. Column two. Source release. I'm just going to use my table commands. Row 3 source release. Version column 1 link at edge of table. Row 4 link Mac OS 64 bit Universal 2 installer. Row 5 link Windows embeddable package. Row 6 link Windows embeddable package. Row 7 link Windows embeddable pack. Row 8 link Windows installer. Today group Python 3.12.1. On Python 3.12.1. Customize install. Use admin privileges when installing py.exe checkbox not checked alt plus l. Add python.exe to path checkbox. All right. Very, very important. So I hit Python installer. If you don't do this, you're not going to be happy. Add Python to path. This is super, super important because when you type Python in Windows, it will bring up this version. If you don't add it to path, it will say Python is not recognized. And then you have to add it to your path manually. And folks, I have done this before, and you don't want to do it. So make sure you hit that button. If that's the only thing you get out of this video, you need to hit that button in order to make sure we can proceed. Because if you don't, when we type in Python, it's not going to work. Space. Cancel button. Up. Select install now to install Python with default settings. Install now button. Cancel button. Okay. Alt plus C. Okay. I'm just waiting for it. Python 3.12.1. Close button alt plus downloads. Right. I, unknown. Now, Run dot open up a terminal. CMD. Desk C. Python. And greater greater greater. Python. Okay. Python 3. Okay, we've got Python 3, and then it says greater, greater, greater. Greater, greater, greater. Simply put, this is an interactive prompt. So you could do, for example, print. Let parenthesis quote, hello world. Tomorrow, we're going to be explaining this in detail. And I'm going to show you guys how to use this interactive interpreter. And then the next day, you're actually going to be using a text editor and writing real apps. Can you believe that? It just might say hello world. But we're going to start going into things. So tomorrow, what I need you to do by the end of the video, and comment down below if you did it, make sure your Python's installed, and it should say the greater, greater, greater. Because tomorrow, we are going to be doing some interactive prompts. For example, we are going to show you how to do things like math problems and things like that. We're also going to show you how this interactive prompt works. And I'm going to show you some cool commands that you can use to supercharge the interpreter. So, that is kind of our plan. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, 
Like, comment, share, subscribe, tell your friends, tell everybody you know. But without further ado, that will do it for this short tutorial. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.